What's going on boys and girls, BVD back with you for another pre-South Carolina video. Uh -oh. This is going to be just a fairly short video where I talk to you mostly about the man. Joe Milton. Is he the man? Is he injured? Is he going to be good enough of the man to outduel Spencer Rattler and the South Carolina fighting Gamecocks this Saturday in a darkened, dark mode Neyland Stadium? Those are questions that a lot of us fans, short for fanatic, would like to have answered. We're going to get our answer Saturday maybe this Saturday and the next. We talked about this this morning on the Vol Trinity, myself, Boogie, and Jay. You know, is Nico ready? I don't know. Boogie seems to think so. Uh, Jay, I think, seems to think so. But I think Jay is kind of in my corner where he doesn't really want that freshman thrown out there. But there's been a lot of talk about, is Nico ready? If something happens and Joe does go down, or we find out that this injury is worse than he let on. A lot of questions need answered in this no longer early young season. We're a third of the way through, boys and girls. We're at week five. This is game five. We played four games in the book already. Usually by this time of the year, you know what your team and what your quarterback is made of. Alabama's got questions. Does Tennessee have questions? If you, ask, if you ask the coaches, their answer is no. We don't have a quarterback issue here at Tennessee. Joe's the man. He's our starter. He's our guy. I believe the coaches believe that. But I also think maybe somewhere in the back of their mind, there's a little bit of wonder. What would happen if we did put Nico in? Well, we're not going to know if and until Joe Milton has either some horrible games back to back or God forbid a, a bad injury and we saw Saturday last week how instantaneously this can happen everything's rolling right along Joe's having a smoking day and all of a sudden boom he's holding that knee and he pops back up like nothing happened so I agree with Jay he's not ready to give up his starting position at Tennessee. He's fought too hard to get to this point. He's in his final year. He ain't giving it up unless the coaches throw a chain around his neck and jerk him out of the game. And I hope it's not because we're trailing by three touchdowns again to South Carolina. I don't think this year's game resembles anything like last year's game. Although Rattler is on fire right now, and he's got that big guy, Leggett, Leggett, Xavier Leggett to throw to, who makes beautiful moves and runs after the catch. Rack yardage. He's racking up some rack yardage right now. We got to prevent all that crap from happening in Neyland. Our defensive line's got to get after Spencer Rattler and chase him around Neyland Stadium. Chase him up into QQ. Let him run some of those upper Neyland Stadium deck stairs and see how he feels. I know what it feels like to climb those daggone things, and I imagine a lot of you people do too. The upper deck of the south end zone ain't no fun. Spencer Rattler should have no fun this weekend. If I'm the defensive coordinator, Tim Banks, I'm telling my boys, pin your ears back, get after him every freaking down. If you have to chase him out of the sidelines into the brick wall, do it. Run that boy all night long till till when late third quarter, fourth quarter gets here, he can't run no more. And he's making bad throws. He's making bad decisions. And then maybe he throws a pick six, and it totally turns the game around. And we go on to win by 50. <laughs> Balls by 50. Don't forget that slogan. I think they even made T-shirts about it. A lot of us fans had this game in mind when the old slogan, Balls by 50, came up. Well... How about, how about this? How about balls by anything? Balls by God. There you go. 
Go balls, screw y'all's team, especially if you're a Gamecock this week. Hug your mom and daddy, I love you, mean it, and I'll see you on the next BBD video when we might be talking about defensive backs. Oh boy, there's a subject for you, right? Anyway, Joe, Joe, he's our man. If he can't do it, Thank <laughs> you.